Well, my name is Dennis Wick. I was a professional trombonist for most of my career from 1957 until I gave it up in 1988. I was first trombone of the London Symphony. We make our mutes with a traditional 19th century skill called metal spinning. It's best described as sideways pottery, and it depends on tremendous skill, individual skill, and we have some very, very fine crafts for making them. The reason that we don't use machines for all the spinning, you don't get that uh, the same work hard and quality. Uh, a machine tends to press the aluminium out uh, in a much less sensitive way. When our spinners are working, they're using so many of their senses. They're working by eye, you know, and also they're working by touch to get a very even spread of the metal across the form. That element of hand working, we think, produces a superior product. In the same way, our mouthpieces are for every kind of brass instrument, from the smallest piccolo trumpet to the largest tuba. The mouthpieces actually start off as uh, very heavy brass rods before they go into the machine. And then they're turned, and a lot of the skill these days is programming the machine to make these uh, very exact uh, mouthpieces. The human lip is very sensitive. It's one of the most sensitive parts of the body and can detect tiny differences uh, down to four microns, which is extremely accurate. So we machine our mouthpieces to that kind of accuracy. Uh, well, they, they've all got a very, very good sense of uh, pride in their work here because they finish with the best bands and the best orchestras in the world, so we're all aware of that. We have a range of 35 different mutes for every conceivable brass instrument and every conceivable use. They're all individually designed. They have all been worked out with some of the best players in the world. And through that, we have a complete range of everything that the brass musician could ever need.